Hi everyone, uh, time for your Monday motivation. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, well, I'm going to talk about self-image versus physical. So when you're looking to lose weight, basically a lot of people out there have actually got a self-image problem. So what it basically means is that you think you're overweight when actually you're, you're actually not based on... Um, you know, metrics and things like that and based on how healthy you are. There's, there's a couple of ways to look at this. I want you to consider this. Now, how you see yourself is the most important thing. So if I say to somebody, you're not overweight and they think they are, all that matters is how the person thinks, which is fine. The challenge that you've got, this is some advice for you. Get a complete sort of um, idea of your health because what you don't want to do, if you've got a self-image problem, if you always think you're not good enough or you always think you're always going to be fat or you always think this, then you're never going to be satisfied with your results. The problem with that is that you then can fall into the vicious circle. And the vicious circle is you get stressed so you eat. You're stressed then because you're eating too much, you're getting weight, and then the circle continues. And, and a lot of that is driven, I believe, by this self-image thing rather than this physical thing. So if you've actually, you know, you're working towards a goal, you get sort of, you know, assessments, blood tests done, and you're actually really healthy, but you're a little bit podgy, you're, not, you're holding a little bit of fat, then that's okay because you might actually live quite a long time. However, you may not look like they do on the TV or they do in the magazines. Now, just remember that, a lot of the images of, of, of healthy people that are given to us aren't real. I mean, you know, to get ripped up, to get shredded, unless you've got genetics on your side, uh, is incredibly difficult. And even then, it's still incredibly difficult. And it is. No matter what any fitness professional tells you, um, it's very difficult because that's not the epitome of human health. Human beings are supposed to be quite lean. We're not. We're supposed to carry a little bit of fat, but we're not supposed to be four, five, six, seven, eight percent uh, body fat for men and then sort of, you know, between sort of 10 and 15 for women, these fitness models. That's not reality. Uh, we're supposed to have a bit of muscle mass. We're supposed to be strong creatures, but we're, we're certainly not supposed to be obese, um, but we're not meant to be ripped either. So it's getting that fine balance when you're saying to yourself, you know, I'm making progress here. I'm getting good results if you're sticking to a program and you're consistent. However, if you've got a self image problem chances are you're more likely to give up because you're never going to be happy with your results anyway so it's about looking at how you see yourself and how you believe this is going to work for you because if you're going into this with a negative mindset about you as a person then you're going to really struggle because it doesn't matter how much weight you lose you'll just be unhappy and depressed but thinner or unhappy and depressed but fitter because you're not happy with you as a, as a, as a just the person irrespective of how you look now you can sort of eradicate a lot of confidence issues by getting healthy and, and losing weight and things like that certainly i did um but if you've got this self-image problem i'm lazy i'm fat i'm i'm all these sort of things and it's not really going to help so you need to attack that first you need to look at how you see yourself and what your image of yourself is because you could be losing weight you could be fine you could be making progress but you're never going to be happy because you dislike yourself so if that question if i ask you that question if you I ask you do you like yourself and the answer is no why irrespective of you know keep doing your diet keep doing your exercise but ask yourself why is it that you actually don't like you um, and that's deeper normally than just a few, you know, squats, lunges and a bit of a, a bit of spinach and, and healthy food. So, so yeah, so the first thing you need to tackle is that self-image problem. Um, and you can, you just need to work on things like habits and so on and focus on the positives. So what you make, if you're making progress, focus on the positives. If you're doing things to, to get yourself healthier, it doesn't matter what it is, then focus on the positives and keep working on the tangible uh, activities that are going to move you forward and, and, and get eradicate things like I'm lazy on this on that which aren't actually things they're just concepts we've been given so yeah tip for today um is uh, self-image versus physical. Remember, if you're not happy with you, it doesn't matter how thin you are. You need to look at that first. You need to start getting happy with the progress that you're making because if you're upset, you're depressed, you're unhappy, it's very difficult to maintain a fitness program if you're not feeling it and you're not happy with the journey that you're about to go on. So, so not to get happy first, but try and focus on this is a positive move. This is something I'm doing for me. I'm going to get better and not keep worrying about, oh, I'm overweight, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this and being down on yourself be positive with the fact change your physiology say I'm making progress and I'm getting good results um, so yes yeah, so work on that first remember deep difference self image versus physical physicals not always the problem sometimes it's how you think uh, we'll get you working on that I'll speak to you soon cheers